Yeah, it's starting to look up, guys. Making these guys nervous. Are we making you nervous? Oh, uh, Joel, we're on. What's up, guys? We're out of here here's Vince's Spaghetti in the city of Rancho Cucamonga. We're shooting a video for the Thousand Board out here at Vince's. We're going to say go. Okay. This is awesome, man. This has been so, such a blast. So, we're having to reset a tape right now. Apparently, we had too much noodles on the plate. Let me ask you a question. You had too much noodles on your plate at Vince's Spaghetti. Is that such a bad thing? All right. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys are watching with us. Let us know where you're watching and have you ever been to visit? Just type, I've never been, or I love going, yeah. or I went when I was five, or I went when I was ten. Let us know if you've been out to visit. Give and a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you can hear us. Yeah, and give us a thumbs up if you can hear us because we're on a Wi Fi, so we make sure that we are good being heard. So, oh my gosh, this smells okay. so good back here. Here we go. Right. Okay. Now, wait till he claps his hands. When he goes like that, then we start. Buzz has been awesome. Buzz, owner of Vince's Spaghetti out here in Ranch Cucamonga for 35 years. 35 years, just August. Dang. Okay, we're ready to go. Scotty, we'll have you flip around with Melissa in here. Are you recording now? Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. So half order spaghetti here. This guy's got it now. Half order spaghetti. Now, that's probably about 14 ounces of cooked pasta. Uh -huh. And on top of that, we're going to give you eight ounces of of sauce, whether you get the meat sauce or the tomato sauce. Oh my goodness. Now, if we get the most sauce probably than any of the Italian restaurants, you get a tremendous amount of sauce on the pasta. And that's why people like it. And it's a lot of food. Now, for lunch, that's almost too much. This is a lunch plate. Okay, this is a lunch plate. Look, we've like about nine or ten ounces of pasta with about six ounces of sauce. You know, every time we come here, you always think, like, man, there's so much sauce on here. I take it to the middle and I'm like, thank goodness there's so much sauce on here. It goes, it goes great with the pasta. You can dip the bread in there. It's a really a good, good food. It's a great thing. As I left there, now he's doing a half over there. That's the take out, and that's about the other side. You're going to take home. You were telling me that a good percentage of your orders are actually take out. Right now, you're going to increase. What about 30, 35% of our total sales are take out? Uh, we have online ordering. You can order online, pick it up here at the Zucker. We can ask, we actually now we actually ship nationwide. You can get online. Some of you can ship it in Minnesota, New York. We've got a website out there. You can check it out. So you can order food for your friends in the show. So, plus, what's the furthest that you know that you've shipped Vince's spaghetti? I know we've shipped it to East Coast. I know that. I, don't know, I know we've shipped to Hawaii, but I know that. Um, I don't know about Alaska, but Hawaii is pretty far away. That's a long ways away. Yeah. What, what kind of pride does that make you feel knowing that uh, people are sitting on the beaches of Hawaii? What are I feel so fortunate blessed. Oh my gosh. You know what? I now feel so fortunate and blessed because I got the lunch plate enjoy the pasta in front of me and I'm out of here. Did you want any bread? Oh yeah, please. Right, Did we want bread? bread? You want a garlic bread or a cheese bread? Uh, yes. Yes, both. Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't hold out on me. We'll All right. Oh, and they said, "Where's the cheese?" Okay, where's the cheese? It'd be right Mozzarella. Cheese on top. Okay, yeah. We gotta come over here. Okay, we're coming okay. over here. Hey Let's guys, see. tell them where we're at. Yeah. We're out at Vince's Spaghetti. Many of you probably already know where we're at. We're out at Vince's yeah. Spaghetti. Oh, and this is the cheese. Now, we use really good whole milk mozzarella and provolone cheese. Uh huh. Uh, our Romano cheese, which is the grated cheese, goes on top the hard cheese. Uh, we use a pecorino and a grande. Very good cheese. So. One of the people, one of the qualities about this is, is our food is very high quality food. You're going to get the finest cheeses on your pasta. Let me give you a little bit of this on yours, Joel. Oh, yeah, give me a diet diet, diet amount. Oh, that's yeah, what I'm talking about. Ready. That fits. How about you, Melissa? You yes. Get two of those. Wait, wait, how come, wait, wait, how come Melissa? Wait, hold on, I'm going to switch this here. Oh, you have to switch my Melissa. Yeah, there we go. Now you got <laughs> Melissa's, <laughs> and there you got me. More. There you there go. You wait, wait, now you just gave her more cheese. Now you hold on. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, real quick, you were talking about shipping. Can you say that again so the yeah, viewers if you, can hear? If you uh, live out of state and you want to get Vince's Spaghetti sent to your house, simply get online and get our website up and it'll say uh, online shipping. You can ship it to your home in Honolulu or Jacksonville, Florida or New York City. Awesome. Yeah. Getting a lot of love here for Vince's. You get a lot of love right there <laughs> on uh, Facebook Live here in the oh, K A N I. Connie has never heard of it. Yes, you must come try. Now, now, obviously here in the Inland Empire, when you hear that people have not heard of Vince's Spaghetti, do you like gasp when that happens? <laughs> no, I just, you know what, fortunately we've got 
really good. If I was a slow restaurant, you know, and really struggling, I would really be gassed. Right? A lot of people just move here, yeah. or they just never yeah. got it. You know, they maybe you know maybe didn't really hear about it. It's pretty hard not to know about French spaghetti if mm -hmm. you went to school in the area. True, because right. we've been doing stuff for schools for generations. So if you grew up in, in Cucamonga, at Alta Al Paloma, up in Ontario, Montclair, Chino, and went to school, you've tasted Vince's spaghetti. And if not, guys, I'm telling you, this is one thing we haven't talked about in the video, and I don't think we'll, we'll mention on the video that we're recording for you guys, but the prices of your dishes. So if you want to come in for a lunch lunch meal, about how much we talk about spending? You know, I'd say you could probably get a, a, with lunch, with your, your entree, with your entree, with a like soup or a salad, what's around 10 or 12 bucks, would you say, Michael, with a lunch which you spend? Per person for lunch, about lunch, ten yeah. bucks. Yeah. You know, dinner maybe closer to fourteen dollars a person. Where do you get enough food to eat for maybe? Two oh, days. I was gonna say no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell you better here. You get enough food that you're taking home and you're eating lunch or dinner tomorrow. My wife will listen to dinner head too. Yeah. Yes. I've never been able to knock out a whole plate here. Well, a lot of the for customers dinner. who sit down go, you know, I'd like to order a smaller portion. I go, well, that's all we have to take out. I said, I can give you a smaller portion for sit down, but I have to charge you the same because the cost to do and sit down is so much more than take out. So I tell them, you know what, we got to-go boxes, and I'd say 70% of our sit-down people take a box of food home for the next day. And they're really happy. And at lunch, we do the smaller portions, because people aren't going home. They're going back to work or back to school, so they can't really get back to their house. So we've got some questions here. Okay, no, Francine was just saying we buy the sauce by the gallon and freeze it. We only live a couple miles away. <laughs> Thank you. And they're asking about lunch specials. I know you're talking about lunch, so is there a special no, or is it just really a menu? We do specials or coupons or two-for-ones. Uh, sometimes if we do a, a blood drive, you know, if you give a pint of blood, you get a free half order and stuff like that. But no, our prices are all pretty much, you know, on the lower end, so we just keep them right there. And we don't really do specials. Okay. And then, so we are at the location in Rancho, but there Correct. is another location in Ontario. Is it the same? It's exactly the same recipes. My older brother, Frank, runs that one. And his son, my nephew, Johnny, has Vincent Spaghetti Express in Temecula. Ah. Also, incredibly good food. He's right off the 15 freeway in California Street in Temecula. Cool. We didn't know that. Uh, Vince's Spaghetti Express. Did we say yeah. we. I oh, sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> It's okay. I, I didn't know it was an express. I thought it was a four-way yeah, it's, it's, it's only He only seats about 60 people, has a, a drive through But he does really well. He does a good takeout and does a lot of good banquets and catering. You said 60, only 60? It's 60. We seat 330. Ontario seats 450. That's oh. crazy. It's big. It started crazy. out with just seven stools, you know, and that was it. In fact, oh. they originally only started serving French dips and orange juice. And my, my dad was in the war in 1945, so my uncles would be there working the fruit stand. And my grandmother in the big house would walk pasta over for my uncle's game. The customers were going, what are you guys eating back there? And they were hey, can we try that? Sure enough, spaghetti became the head. Oh my God. So it went from seven stools to 40, 50 people. Um, Marianne says, my Italian club is looking for a new place to hold our monthly meetings. Is there some place like that for them? Do you have yes, room? Yes, we have a okay. room available. Awesome. Uh, you can call and get the hours in. It holds anywhere from 60 to 90 people, depending what time you come and what day of the week. Uh, but call and talk to one of the managers, and they'll help you out. Awesome. And then you were asking oh, Joel salad. earlier. Yeah, just walk over here. She needs to get into a salad. Someone else is asking, too, vegan options? Yes, oh, yeah. We have vegan, and we have gluten-free and vegan. Cool. So you can get both. Awesome. I say vegan. You say vegan. It's all the well, same. Well, I mean, it's vegetarian, but vegan. How come it's not vegetarian? <laughs> Veg yeah. Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almond, that's the whole argument. We got into the, the we did the almond, almond shows. The almond. Almond. You don't say salmon for a salmon, you say salmon. Yeah. So it's almond. Do we have a. Uh, from Boston, it's almond, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Do we have bread to show? Oh, yeah. Everybody's oh, bread going oh, crazy about the bread. This is a garlic. Now, yeah. now, now, the only way you can tell the difference, except for the color of the basket, is the little bits of parsley we put oh, in yeah. the, the, garlic the garlic. Now, originally we had a white margarine and a yellow margarine. Oh. But due to the new laws on trans fats and so forth that came out the last 15 years, they've changed the margarine recipe. So all we can get now is the one color margarine. So we couldn't tell the difference between the garlic and the cheese. So oh, wow. Said, you know what? That's you a little parsley. Yeah. Just enough, not to change the flavor, but just more of a... An eyesight. Thing. And Buzz, I gotta say, you gotta work on your trans fats. By the way, I'm, 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 I'm looking at you. And I'm, I'm thinking you need <laughs> to work know, on man. a little bit here, buddy. <laughs> I eat pasta three times a week. I swear to God. Okay. I do stay away from the garlic bread. That has a lot of calories. But the pasta, I love it. I, I put, you know, I put my fish on it, my turkey on it, my 
beef on it, my chicken on it, I have a salad. It's one of my favorite dishes. Do you know how many people at home just went, what? I can eat pasta three times a week and look like Buzz? Now you gotta <laughs> exercise your no, yes. no, leave that part out. Leave that part out. <laughs> you just got to come to Vince's and eat pasta. You can stay in shape eating at Vince's. Trust me. I had at Vince's three or four times a week and I can stay in shape. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, can we set these down? Sure we got to go do our final shot. Deanna says, if you don't walk out with a spaghetti sauce mustache, you're not eating it right. <laughs> Actually, is there any way to do it away from the light? If you shoot the light, wherever you want to go, I'll okay. follow you. How about if we go? We're trying to find somewhere to sit because we're going to dig in. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're filming a little piece for the Ontario Visitors Bureau here at Vince's, and we just wanted to show you behind the scenes while we're here. Yeah, this is crazy. So, um, thank you guys so much. I'm curious, can you guess how long Vince's Spaghetti has been in business? Just give us a guess. And don't go cheating. Don't go, oh, I'm going to Google off and then come back. Just guess, how long has Vince's Spaghetti been in business? Yes, Cindy, minestrone soup. That's what I was saying. We were just talking about their soup. I think they left my, I'm going to go back and get my okay. minestrone soup. Scotty's still, you good, Scotty? Yep. Okay, cool. Where's our soup? You lost our soup. Oh, did you want them? I can be the soup side. I didn't know you wanted me to be the soup side. Oh, yeah, they're asking about soup, too. So what do you say about the soup? Because I didn't hear a lot of it. It's the same recipe? It's the same recipe that his grandmother made. I'm not going to tell how long ago because then that would give away the question I just asked. But same recipe as grandma made. This is fantastic. I mean, this is so cool. I love getting the history of this place. Okay, we got 80 years, 20 years, 70 years. Yeah, so are you okay doing a, a shot right here? Yeah. Or do we need, do you, I, I told totally we get away from it. See, see how much I know? you went the wrong way. I've been doing this for how long and I still miss that. 40 out. years. You tell me, Scotty. You 73 are, years. Um, what do you say about vegan? What are the vegan options so they're asking? They have a, uh, a uh, basically a tomato uh, paste or tomato soup, not soup, but a tomato uh, sauce. sauce that they okay. use. And then they um, have noodles that they use with the sauce. So some of the noodles, they mix in with the, the sauces, but for the vegan dishes and the vegetarian dishes, you don't do the mixture. So no. it's just the tomato it's sauce. It's just, what we do is we call it, it's a mixing sauce. We put it on the pasta uh, so it's easy to scoop out. You know, if you ever try to get pasta out of a just plain white pasta and try to lift it up, it's just all sticks together. So we put a little bit of tomato sauce on to keep it nice and loose. But for the vegan, we don't use that tomato sauce because it has the meatballs where it actually heated up and then it's got a little bit of animal there fat. There you go. That's we good. We just use a straight vegan sauce, no fats, no animal fats at all. It's just got a bit of canola oil. Yeah. So you and you can say that when you come in and just let me, hey, we want the vegan or the vegan option. Yeah, and that's it. And then that's some salad. And of course, what about the, the dressing? Is the red wine dressing, is that a vegan dressing? That's a vegan, that has no, uh, there's no no animal fats in the dressing, the red wine dressing. And it's also gluten free, there's no wheat in it. There you so go. We that. Plus we have olive oil and lemon which is one of my favorites. If you don't want the vinegar, so can I get an olive oil and a lemon? We just bring it right out for you. Yes, good stuff. Man. Thanks, oh Caesar. Appreciate the shout out. Okay, let's answer the question. Okay. So we had lots of guesses. Yes. Have people have guessed how long you've been in business. So what are some of the guesses? Let's okay, we you. had 63 years, 50 years, 65, 57, 62, 100, 58. <laughs> so let's answer for them. How long have you been in business? 75 years in Ontario, 2020 will be 75 years. And 35 years this August here in Rancho Cucamonga. Awesome. That's fantastic. All right. So, Joel, we setting up? Yeah, yeah we're setting hey, up. So you, you want to eat here or over here? I, I'm, I was wrong. We're going to eat here. Well, you you know stay what? on? I was going to say, well, can you, I'll have a guy serve you so it looks cool. You want to have the, the food? You know what I mean? Serve me. I love that. Yeah, yes. I'll have one of the servers. Mike, do me a favor. Grab the pasta might... here, too. Just give them everything you Yo, want. You should be in it. Yeah, you got to okay, be so in Okay, so cut. It. I don't know. So you, get us out. Do you guys want to cut or do you want to still watch? I don't know. It's up to you. It's, it's up to you. Gosh. <laughs> you come around here. Oh my gosh. Get on the other side of the table. Hey, if you guys have any questions while we're on, we may cut this thing off sooner than uh, sooner than we could. Where's Scotty? Scotty, Scotty want to film this? Yeah, Scotty's going to record it. He's going to be You can pretend like we're serving the three of us, but just give them the pasta. Hey, Brian. All right, so we move these out like this. Michelle we guessed it. it. Good like job. Here. Good job, Michelle. Put this one down here. Yeah, a lot of you guessed the right answer. That's awesome. All right, check, check, testing. Hey, hey Gordon, ready? I see you're watching. What's up, cuz? All right. We sound good? You sound awesome. Cut so she can join you. Thank you, Monica. Man, people love me on here. They want me fed. <laughs> no, what do you mean? I never get fed. You don't. You gotta shoot? Oh, no. No, no. We're good. We're good. I, we're waiting. He's waiting here for you, guys. Oh, oh, we're ready to go, Scott? Yeah. <laughs> yes, now it means go. 
Oh. Multitasking. Hang on. Hang on. We, get a we got a train horn. horn. You got a train <laughs> horn on your phone? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that your wife going? Yeah, yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> Behind the scenes. This Great, I'm doing a little shoot here at the restaurant. I'll call you right back. This is live. We got the conversation. <laughs> That's, on it. It. That's it right my, there. My, in fact, it's funny. My wife is just funny you mentioned the acting thing. She just did a, a shoot in uh, Santa Clarita for a horror show she's in. Ooh. Oh, wow. In oh, fact, I don't know if you saw there's a new episode uh, called Tacoma FD on True TV. I have not seen that. Check no. it out. She's on episode five. She opens up the, the comedy series. As, oh, that's cool. As, uh, Mrs. Gravani, Mrs. Graviano. Yeah. There you guys go. You guys live in the Inland Empire, right? We live actually in Mission Viejo. In Mission Viejo. Yeah. That's not the Inland Empire, so we don't talk about it. We're moving on, Buzz. There we go. Just like that, guys. We got them out. We got don't them back in the IE. No, no, that's not for us. Are we ready, Scotty? All right. All right. Um, we are. Oh, I see what you're saying, Liz. You're. No, we're good. Okay. We're good. Okay, we're going. Okay. Now's the fun time. Now we get to eat. Yes, absolutely. So we got the uh This is soups. the soups coming here right now. Uh-huh. Put that one over there for Scotty here so we can have one over there too. Scotty gets fed yeah, too. The camera guy. All right. I guess that's And we've got the pasta coming. Oh, yeah. The camera guy's got to be. Got to take care of the text. Oh, there we go. Oh, All right. And we got some bread coming out here. Oh my goodness! Okay, so and we'll have one more bread, and bring us a cheese bread for these guys. But this also. is so. This is the garlic. This is the garlic. One you said it's got the little pieces of parsley in there to kind of tell you that it's garlic and not cheese. Wow! All right, guys, Vince's spaghetti out here in the city of Rancho Cucamonga, or Ontario, or Temecula, yeah. or Temecula. Can All we do right. that one more time, Scotty? If that's okay. Ooh. So Vince's spaghetti out here on Route 66 and Rancho Cucamonga. Or Ontario or Temecula. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is really good. That is really good. It is good. When That's was the good. last time you had bread? I had a half a Don't piece tell of me 1985. No, no, no. <laughs> I do try the bread about every you know, I watch them butter the breads and I'm really sure that they get enough margarine on them. So every once in a while I will have a, a split of bread with somebody. It's you know, about every week. But every, oh, okay. Every, you know, maybe maybe once a week, every other week, I'll have a bread. See, Frank, not think, the whole week. Buzz, the more you say that, the more that just makes people happy. They they look at you and they're like, man, <laughs> I can eat bread and this, pasta. You can. The thing is, the main thing is that it's it's a quantity control. And again, we give go uh, go containers, take some home, enjoy it. You have a really good food. It's healthy food. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And I know many of you have seen. I've been here to Vince's Spaghetti. Your sauce is second in that. <laughs> Thank you. It, you. I know you know that. <laughs> second well, we in think it. it's good. I, I say we have the best pasta and sauce west of the Mississippi because people in New York get really upset if I say the whole country. But we have the best French dip, hands down, I think. I have a taste of the better French dip. We haven't even tried the French dip. The French dip's incredible. We've, We've done, done all this talking dip. and all that. You steered me away from the French dip so you can... You can um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, the French dip's my most expensive item, Joe. You know, I can't be giving it. Oh, you just can't be giving it? Did you guys know? hear that? You guys hear that? <laughs> uh, when you say most expensive, like... like so Food costs. That's it. It's my most expensive item. Like, how much is it? Uh, like, if people are going to come here and order a French dip, what are we oh talking about? Oh, gosh. I, don't have to look now. I bet it's about five sixty-five to 6 7 bucks, maybe. Yeah, most expensive. You there know. you go, guys. But, it's, you know, it's a huge sandwich. We mm -hmm. give seven and a half ounces of beef on our French dip. And you go to Philippe's in, in L.A., it's four ounces of meat, and that's it. And they still charge us seven fifty. We have the most uh, friend, uh, dip meat on our sandwiches of any French dip I've tasted. I have some customers who come and order one dip and an extra bread, and then they take the meat out, split the meat, and make two sandwiches. Oh my gosh! And I say, okay. You know, I keep thinking to myself, it's a lot of meat on that dip. <laughs> <laughs> What's the furthest that you've had people drive? I know you <coughs> orders are flying over the uh, the waters, but. For this, that people have driven to come here to Vince's that you know of. You know, I, I, if you were coming just for that day, I bet people coming far from like San Diego, maybe take an hour and a half drive for a, one day. That's probably the farthest I've ever come. But I've had people that plan on coming here, you know, when they come out to California, Vince's on their agenda to come. Here. And I tell people, if you haven't been to Vince's on a trip to Southern California, it's a really good experience. In fact, you should get a chance to check out the wall downstairs. It kind of gives a history of the Italian family coming into into America and out to California. Got all the old pictures on the wall. That would look pretty cool in there. Oh, man, that'd be cool. Can we talk about the hours real quick and days you're yes. open? We're open seven days a week. Um, 
Monday through Friday, 11.30 to 2 for lunch, 4 to 9 for dinner. The weekends were open uh, for dinner only on Saturday, 4 to 9. Sunday's dinner only 12 to 9. And we're closed all major holidays, you know, Easter, 4th of July, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, uh, Thanksgiving. Wow. Yeah. So I see people looking out for Melissa right there. Monica's really yeah, got your back Monica. over there. Monica, My pasta back is off, getting Melissa. cold. Come on, forget it. She's good. <laughs> She's good. Hey, man, Frank. The, uh, I can't call you Frank. Good Frank's Italian your brother. It's good Italian I know, your brother. It's a good Italian name, but Buzz is a pretty... It's a pretty killer name, man. Yeah, you know, my mom gave me that name from the time I was born. Is it so? It's Buzz. It's not a short. Well, in Italian tradition, you know, everybody's named after somebody. You know, the oldest son after the dad's dad, second son after the mom's dad, third son after the dad's oldest brother, fourth son after the mom's oldest brother. Oh, so wow. all the girls, you know, first girl after the dad's mom, second girl after the mom's mom. Well, my oldest brother Frank after my grandfather Frank Kusha. Yeah. And then my middle brother should have been named George. Because my grandfather on my mom's side was George. My mom didn't like the name George. Oh, she did. So she named him John after my dad and gave him the middle name George. Well, her father was pretty upset about that. So when I came around, she said, all right, I'll make it up to him. And I was supposed to be named after another uncle. But she named me George. But she didn't like the name. She never called me. <laughs> so your name is really George, but you go by Buzz. Yeah, huh? just, uh, my whole life has just been Buzz, except on my driver's license. And you know, I thought about just dropping it, but everybody that I've grown up with, hey Buzz, That's how a you killer name? And, you know, it's, it's kind of unique. Not a lot of people have, and it's kind of just fits me now. So yeah. I just keep it. That's cool. Well, Buzz, man, we appreciate your time. Hey, Joe. Appreciate the good food. Thank you so much. Scotty. Hey, hey, this lunch is on me, guys. Just oh, take care of the shrinks here. Leave them a few bucks if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no worries, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. We so appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So you got the hours of Vince's Spaghetti, and if you haven't been down here, you definitely want to make this a stop. Route 66. Uh, address one more time if you're not 80, familiar. 8241 Foothill Boulevard. Literally right Cucumber. across from the Sycamore Inn, right up next door to the Magic Lamb, which I, in my opinion, I've always called it the uh, the triangle right. of historic restaurants in the IE. Uh, some people call it Cucamonga Block. Cucamonga Block. I don't Instead like the that. Orange I'm going to say with mine. You know, <laughs> yours is good. I mean, I, I, I think the triangle, you know, the golden triangle, whatever you want to call it. We're mm -hmm. actually the last three three freestanding restaurants. Yeah, and every one of these restaurants has a house next door. In the old days, you lived right on property. Yeah, the Magic Lamp has their house, beautiful house upstairs. We got a house there next door. We use mainly for storage now. And the Sick Room has a bit of a little guest house. Yeah. In the old days, everybody lived right on property. We, in fact, we lived right behind the restaurant in Ontario. And my aunts and uncles lived right there. My grandparents right there. You're not far away from the mine. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. All we right. appreciate it. When you come out here to Vince's, just let them know you saw it on iExplore, just so they can know that, uh, you know, you're watching. Take care, guys. <laughs>